Hello everyone and good evening. Welcome to another episode and today, today we're gonna go back uh, a little bit and try another one of those uh, bee kits uh, that I did a few weeks ago and anyone who saw it will remember, yes, the small bear key charm thing you can put in your phone's headphone socket. Um, yeah, and you know, despite this being an extremely difficult, well not extremely difficult, very time-consuming to make uh, with um, difficult instructions if it's the first time uh, you look at them. Uh, I'm very pleased with the final thing. Uh, it looks nice, it's uh, very sturdy and uh, it's got a nice squidgy feel to it because of the wool. Now, uh, anyone who watched the video will know uh, last time I only had three of the uh, six in the series but I went shopping and I found them all. Uh, as you can see, a nice selection of animals. You got uh, your rabbit, your bear, uh, dog, panda, monkey, and cat. Now I was looking through these um, and most of them are actually two star difficulty. Uh, this is the only one star difficulty and uh, this is the only three star difficulty. Now I'm not gonna do these today because I want to try another one of the two stars. I'm interested to find out how long it actually takes. Uh, last time uh, I made it over two days, so I didn't really get an accurate time. So today I'm going to do it all in one go, um, if I can. And the one we're going to do is the pink rabbit. Now there is a reason I have chosen this one, and that will become apparent when it is if it is finished. Um, you know, as before, you got your beads, uh, your string and, and your wool and stuff. Uh, so I'm gonna open this up, sort it out, and see what the instructions look like. Okay, so here's uh, all the beads uh, in my usual case. Uh, you can see mostly pink ones, as with the bear was mostly yellow ones. Uh, you got the noses, the decorations, and then the extra bits for fixing it. Um, from the looks of it as well, they've been very generous with the old strings, so I recommend uh, being generous yourself with it, you know? Add a few centimeters here or there, just to be on the safe side. Um, interestingly though, uh, despite the, the, the actual thing being very similar to the bear in shape, the instructions look a lot easier. Um, the ears have been connected uh, to five beads in the center of the head, um, which should make it easier than the bear because this was uh, a very difficult bit. And um, also the, the chin appears to be connected to all of them and because it has the uh, large circular beads for the eyes and the nose, it's very easy to see where they connect, which is good for me because that was really difficult in the other one. Uh, additionally, the hands uh, look much easier well, that one doesn't look too easy, but in, in theory, they should be easier. And the legs, I think, are pretty much the same. It is a bit confusing following these arrows because they do tend to double up over themselves a few times. But, mm, that's, that's just what these are, really. But anyway, we must begin because this is going to take quite a while. So, starting with this one. Hmm, it looks more like a brain than a head. But I suppose the brain is inside. Anyhow, let's see what it looks like. Okay, it's been about uh, 40 minutes, but uh, it has been done. Uh, as with the bear, you know, um, it wasn't uh, too difficult to do. It's just a, a repeating pattern that you've got to follow. Um, it's not keeping the shape yet because you've got to put the wool in uh, after you've done the bottom. But uh, yeah, it looks fine. And uh, even the top pieces line up a lot better than they did with the bear, so it's easy to find the five. Fingers crossed, this is gonna be easy because um, the problem I had with the bear is that you use the same beads so many times, it was very difficult to get the, um, the string through. So I had to use a needle to help me a bit there, but uh, fingers crossed, this'll be easy. Okay, it's been about uh, 20 minutes and the ears are done. Yay, I will be honest, it wasn't as easy as I thought, mostly because these are actually two separate parts. They're not connected to the same piece of string. You need two new pieces, meaning there are many knots here. Hmm. But uh, with the help of a small metal needle, it meant that everything was going the right way and it was nicely done. Yay, you can see 
Look at that. Look how wonderful it is. Uh, again, the head is still a bit um, soft because it doesn't have the uh, wool in it yet, but uh, you can see it, it, it looks like a, a rabbit. The longer ears are uh, making it very different to the bear. Hmm. So, next we have to make the chin, I believe. Um, yeah, that, that, that looks like a chin. It's been about uh, 15 minutes uh, to do this, but uh, yeah, yeah, it, it looks complicated, but there's only a few beads. Only one thing, uh, I did forget to put the bell on. But it's okay, rather than putting it here, I put it here uh, under the knot. And as you can see, it still rings. And uh, yeah, it actually looks like a rabbit now. Uh, this was uh, much, much easier than the bear because the nose is, is more flat. Um, the, the bear kind of sticks out a bit and that was quite difficult to get right. One other thing that was different, um, the head is actually slightly smaller so didn't need to use all the um, wool. I found uh, trying to put all the wool in just made the neck really fat so took it out and just left that much in there. And there you see, ah yes, an hour and a half of my life well spent. And now it's just to make the body, uh, the arms and the legs with the little tail. Hopefully I can get this done uh, before, well, two hours, I guess. Let's see if I can do it in under two hours, because it recommends it'll take two to three. And I am now a master. Okay, and here are the remaining beads. As you might have guessed, I did actually finish the rabbit. Yay! And... Uh, surprisingly, it was significantly easier than the bear. Uh, the only problem I had with this one was, I don't know if you can see here, but the beads are, some of the beads are slightly broken or they have a little bit of extra plastic on that you really have to scratch off with your nails for them to fit properly. And once or twice I had to change beads. I mean, there's so many extras, it didn't really matter. But that's not important because all we care about is what it looks like. So this obviously is the image on the packet and you can see what it should look like. This is what it does look like. Ta-da! Yes, you can see it does actually look exactly like it is supposed to. Uh, the only difference is on mine I still have um, the little bits of, of string because I haven't cut them off yet because I'm always a bit worried if I cut them too short, the knots will unravel. But yes, um, it looks like a rabbit. It's got the big ears, little arms, and uh, even though I put the bell on, strangely, it still rings. Also, this arm seems to go backwards, which is a bit strange. But nevertheless, it looks like a rabbit. And next to the bear, you can see that even though they looked similar, um, they're actually quite differently made. Only the eyes and the cheeks are the same. Hmm. Yeah, the bear had much more difficult hands and feet. Although the rabbit, why is that? It doesn't matter. I'll fix it later. But everything else is fine. Now, at the beginning, I mentioned I wanted to do the rabbit for a reason. And that reason is, I want to know why all Dysol rabbits are pink. Um, it seems a bit strange to me, all the other animals are the correct colours, but only the rabbits are pink. I don't understand. Um, is there a type of rabbit I don't know about? Because even in the origami, it recommended to use pink paper. Well, nevertheless, we can see it's a wonderful little rabbit who's a, who looks like he's about to slap somebody. But it doesn't matter because... It's cool and it goes in your headphone socket. <laughs>